Heidi ho there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here today. Hey folks, welcome today. We're going to unbox our new uh, leaf blower. Uh, bring the camera on down. We got an Echo PB2520 is the brand name, uh, part number, or model number. Let's go ahead and open this thing up, see what we got inside. And we'll get it put together and hopefully working for you here real soon. So here we go. And hey, we got another bottle of our oil here. And that's cool. And this is a 50 to 1 ratio mix oil. And that's what we use in all our other stuff. So that's great. Um, we have some paperwork here that looks like it comes with it. We got a quick start guide. And looks like it's in three different languages. And we also have another book here that goes along with it. And this looks like something to do with the emission control warranty statement on the unit. So we're just going to lay this aside and see if we can figure this out on our own. Uh, looks like we got a couple of our tubes here that we hook up. And let's see if we can figure this out without looking at any instructions. Looks like we just simply put these together, I'm thinking. Nope, that's probably not the right way right there. It's probably more like this way right here. And then this will actually turn into that like so, okay? And then I guess that allows you to uh, adjust it as well. Okay, we're gonna go, we'll roll with that for a moment anyway. We may look at the instructions here in a little bit, but you know me. I typically don't like to look at the instructions. I think this is some of our paperwork. Oh, this is where we went to actually. Uh, Daniel, you want to grab this right quick, buddy? You can go hang on to that. We'll put that inside in a little bit. All righty. So let's go ahead and grab the main unit right here. And looks like there's just a couple of pieces of paper there. So here's our main unit, folks. And let's see what attaches here. Hmm, let's see if I can figure this one out. There we go, just like that. And it looks like this one snaps in. Okay, so there's like a quick snap right there where we can unlock this and take this whole tube totally off if we want to. There's a little latch on this side and a straight little notch on that side that fits in this groove, okay? So this is all pretty simple. So that should snap in just like so. And if you want to release it, uh, probably need to get a little screwdriver and tab that up and pull it right back out. But I think we're probably okay. Probably just like that is exactly all we'll ever need. And like I say, I guess you can, you got a couple different lengths here you can go with. I don't know why it would really matter. Hmm, let's see if I can get it off of there now. <laughs> now that I've done that. There we go. So we're just gonna pull it in and go ahead and just turn it like so. Okay, we're gonna leave it just like that. All right, now let's go ahead. Let me look at the instructions one time here to see. And the reason I'm looking at it, it does have a push bubble on it. And typically um, probably six to eight times is what it's gonna require to uh, bleed the fuel through here. I just want to confirm that. Okay, folks, next thing we're going to do is go ahead and put some gas in this thing. Okay. And then we'll talk about getting it cranked up. I'm going to pour a little in here. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, next step, folks, notice you have a little fuel bubble here on the side. It recommends that you pump it eight times. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight okay actually i'm gonna give it one more little squirt because uh, it looked like the fuel was just now getting there this lever here pull it straight up that's the choke okay and we're going to pull it one time or until we hear it to try to crank there we go right there okay it tried to crank so let's go ahead and put take the choke off Pull it all the way back down. Notice you do have a start and stop switch up here. I forgot to mention, you wanna make sure it's pushed forward to where you can, uh, where it will crank, okay? So we should be able to pull it right now, it should run. And there we go. Folks, I want to show you something. 
show you this right here is a lever that you can push that will automatically bring the idle up to where you don't have to have your finger on the trigger no more. So watch this. You can set it for whatever RPM you want it to be at. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off and then we'll go test it out. Right, guys thank you for stopping by checking out our video today on our new echo blower what do you think about it Daniel? Oh, it's, be it's better than the old one better than the old one okay that's yeah. awesome all right guys i'm very happy with it too it's going to add to our collection of yard tools that we'll be using this spring and summer so thank you for stopping by today uh price point on this thing you know i can't really remember i'll put a link down below uh, I'll find one and put it down below. I think it's 139. I may be mistaken on that, but I'll find the link, put it down below for this model if you'd like to try it out. Thank you for watching the video, and we'll see you next time. Take care.